Works hard. I don't want to work today. <laughs> Avoid business failure and life failure with this one simple tip. Hey everyone, Noah Hammond back with some more advice. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can avoid business failure. And as you may have guessed, I'm gonna give you one simple tip for doing so. This has been very helpful for me personally, and that's why I felt I would share it with all of you. So, many people fail in business because they have a lack of vision of what it is that they're truly looking to do. You know, they say, I wanna make money. I wanna make money. I really wanna make some money, right? And making money is great, but it doesn't truly inspire your soul. You need more than making money. You need to make meaning. And money just comes as a byproduct. So what that really boils down to is you need to know your why so that you can do the what. The what would be your day-to-day -day tasks, what you do. But why you do it is what will keep you doing the what. This feels like who's on first? Who? Who's on first? Who? Right? <laughs> but the what is your daily tasks. The why is the motivation of your daily tasks. And what you'll receive is money. But why you'll receive it is the value you deliver to the world. Now, the simple tip that I want to give you for avoiding business failure is to just create a structure for remembering and keeping a focus on the why. Because the why is all important and the why keeps your soul moving and the why keeps you motivated and happy and excited no matter what is going on today. Oh, I have to do my taxes. Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to fill out these forms. Oh, I don't want to deal with this customer support. Oh, I don't want to create this new system. Oh, oh, business is hard. I give up. The why is always there to remind you why you're doing the what. Okay? So what I do is anytime I'm getting overwhelmed, anytime that I'm feeling like, ah, oh, screw this. I just don't feel like doing it right now. I just take a moment to sit back, relax, and in my head, I see myself zooming out from myself sitting at my desk or sitting wherever I'm sitting, and I go into a vision of the why. What is the why? I go into that place of the why. For me, it's reaching as many people as possible and helping them live their greatest potential for this life, whether that be through yoga and their spiritual development, whether it be through business development, whether it be through getting in touch with their health and going on a path through health, whether that means helping them become the, their own motivational speaker or personal speaker, whatever, just become an amazing family man or whatever it is. I just want to help as many people reach their ideal lifestyle and serve their highest good. So I just zoom out from my desk and I see that myself sitting at my desk flying off into the distance and then I immerse myself in this peak potential training center that I have envisioned that I'm creating. And I see myself with all these people who have huge smiles on their faces because they're all out there making their greatest impact on the world and they're all creating everything they want to create in their life and they're all so happy that I persevered through all the boring times or all the struggling times or all the challenging times and they're all just so happy that my training is there and being delivered powerfully that my coaches and all my coaching team is there delivering it powerfully and all of this is going on and that's my why right so I leave the what behind for a moment and I go hang out with the why and it's like a universal download of energy that just brings me back into my power and then whatever silly thing I'm doing, whatever email that I'm writing that isn't coming out the way I want it to at the moment or something like that, I just get back to work on it happily. And I remember my why powerfully. And 
that's really the reason that people fail in business or in creating their lifestyle really in any area. They fail because they forget about the why and they take the what, which is right in front of your face and it's like, oh, this stinks and I can't take this anymore and they take the emotional connection with the what and they allow that to just be like, Meh, pfft, this stinks, I'm done, I quit. And then they don't want to not quit because once you say I quit, you know, your ego is going to be like, uh, you you quit already. You can't start again, right? So that's how people fail. But if you stay connected to your why, you can't ever fail because no matter what is happening, no matter what is happening, you can always zoom back to the why and then come back and figure out the what. It doesn't matter what is happening. You can always figure it out. You can always grow as a result. You can always create new systems. You can always develop yourself. You can always surmount the what as long as the why is there. So I encourage you to think about your why. Everybody's why is different. Don't think that your why has to be changing the world. Changing yourself is changing the world. So I get that question a lot. People say, you know, I don't really know my life's purpose. You know, I don't really think it's to change the world like how you want to change the world. Everybody's life's purpose is different. And don't think that my life's purpose is better than your life's purpose because I want to change the world and you just want to have a really happy, successful life for yourself. Changing yourself is changing the world. We're all here to do different things. So don't try to make your why different than what it should be authentically for you. I encourage you to figure out your why and anytime you're struggling in the what, just zoom out and hang out in the why for a little bit and enjoy yourself and then come back empowered. All right, so that's my advice for today. I hope it's been helpful. Please comment below, like the video if you like it, subscribe to my channel, share this on Facebook or anywhere else you like to share things if you think this is useful, if you think somebody else could benefit from it. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll talk to you soon.